Hi, I'm Liz Winstead. During my second divorce, I said to my lawyer, get me something big this time, like a TV show. I want him ruined. Ruined. I'm Brian Unger. I was Tom Brokaw's heir apparent. Of course, Brian Williams got the job, but I'm not bitter. Brian Williams, Brian Unger. Yeah. Hey, can I help you guys? So I got my TV show. It's called O to B. It's a show about women. Excuse me, it's a show about women? O to be glamorous, O to be wealthier, O to be... Sure, why not? It's work. I'm not bitter. Today on O to B. You just don't want to deal with this issue now, do you? He's America's Where number one insult therapist. And today, Dr. Fred shows us the highlights from his weekend retreat for troubled relationships. You thought marriage was just gonna be meals on wheels. Well, let me tell you now, it's hell on wheels, and it's all your fault. Dr. Fred, he hates because he loves. Then, on Abodes, we tour a Hollywood mansion fit for a queen. Well, hello, I'm Mark Harris. How are ya? <laughs> Welcome to my abode, the patriotic palace. Mark Harris, his home sweet home. And we're wild about Hayward, Wisconsin. It's all happening right here, right now, on O2B. O2B. Thinner. Richer. Sexier. Prettier. Oh, to be anyone but me. Now the hosts of Oh, to be, Brian Unger and Liz Winston. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Look. Oh, look at you. Goodness. Hello. Connor. Connor. Oh. Wow. Thank you. So how about this? Aren't they well, handsome? thank you very much. Today is the day that we just love. Oh. Today, our magazines hit the newsstands. That is so exciting. Right. So, I want to hear all about what's in Brian Magazine this month. Well, this issue right here is a tribute to the real heroes of 9 11. Now, who's that? Firemen, Liz. Firemen. Oh, you know, you're right. Firemen are heroes. In fact, they're the only dirty workers I find cute. Well, <laughs> the ladies do love them. Oh, and now the ladies in this picture, are they firemen too? I don't know, I never asked them. <laughs> now, is there a lot of stories about firemen in this issue? No, not even one. Uh, the, the picture on the cover is the tribute, oh. and I'm dedicating this photo to firemen everywhere, and they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, that is so smart, because an entire issue about 9-11 would be so depressing. Bingo. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm calling this issue America the Bootyful. Mm. And, uh, and in it, there's a lot of good take home for the fellas, like, uh, I don't know if you can see this down here, sexual harassment, 15 alibis that work. Oh. Uh, just trust me. And uh, an insightful piece called, Yes, That Dress Does Make You Look Fat. It's the new honesty. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. I see you have finally finished your pool house. I have two years worth the wait. Uh, the staff calls it the grotto because it has the waterfall and the cave. Nice. And a mattress in the cave. Oh, for guests. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I see that the latest Liz magazine is out. What Hardly do we have here? Wait, it's very exciting. Wow, dangerously thin, dangerously hot. Yes. Wow. You know, wow. it's a fashion spread for all women under 100 pounds. That's very, very thoughtful. <laughs> yeah, and this is an article that I am very proud of. It's something my friends at the club and I talk about constantly. They're called the help, so why don't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, why don't they? Uh, why don't they? Well, read the article. <laughs> <laughs> and now a technique I've mastered that I want to pass along to anyone, tuning out how to smile without listening. Mm -hmm. 
I, I learned that in journalism school. Yeah, I never went to that. Um, but I have to tell you, and in keeping with the mission of the magazine, as close to me as you'll ever get, I've included chapter one of my book, an excerpt, My Barren Uterus, A Diary of Hope. Mm. You know, you do give hope to so many barren women. I try, you know. I love mm -hmm. to give back, Brian. And now, really, I want to tell the people, pick up Brian and Liz magazine. It's on the newsstands now, mm -hmm. isn't it, Conniff? Better yet, buy a subscription. Mm. That's why we pay you. That's, That's why we right. pay you. Oh, my God. Well, enough about us, if there could be. Um, let's kick off the show. <laughs> Abodes today, we go inside one of Hollywood's most fascinating homes. We sure do, Liz. Mm. And we're talking about the Bel Air mansion of entertainer-decorator Mark Harris, who was once married to the late screen legend Martha Ray. The big mouth. Yeah, the big mouth. Yeah. Mm. Um, for the first time on women's TV, Cameras were allowed inside what Harris's neighbors call the ugliest house in the world. <laughs> well, hello! I'm Mark Harris. How are you? Welcome to my abode, the Patriotic Palace. Here we go. Now I'm going to take you into the living room, 1,200 square feet. We appropriate call it the Grand Ballroom. The look here is called high on eclectic and potpourri of everything. I did these couches most recently. They were the couches Martha Ray and I bought in red and black cotton. They go both ways like me. My gardener, my handyman. Uh, let me invite him in. Hi, America. I mean, what don't you do here? Everything, planting, cleaning, you know. Everything but bathe. <laughs> America's most treasured patriot, Martha Ray, as the Polydent Lady. There she is in all her glory. And by the way, I still have the tea. This room is dedicated to the spirit of Martha Ray and for the three wars she served in by her own choice. This room is a testament to patriotism. This one is very special. A blind soldier did this. He was wounded in action and from memory, being blind, he did this in 1971. Well, hi again. This is the bedroom, my bedroom. Very few colors will clash with green. And that would be on the far right, Rudy Lee and Jeffries, Debbie Reynolds and Martha Ray wearing my shirt. But no, if you look at it, Martha is not holding Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> Why, hello. <laughs> Leaving the palace and coming outside. Oh, and you I love when they work. See, America's cooking. In keeping up with the murals, defending America, I did this right after 9-11. Our president, George Bush Jr., uh, right here. Here he is, and I just hope he defends us as best he can. Just cut to that Truman way. Bomb the MFers. Feel the spirit of Martha Ray help protect the USA. When we entertain in the house, it's all in here. Everybody just comes in here, and we have a good old time. T E double R O R I S T terrorist. I'm just a gigolo, and everywhere I go, people, the people know the part I'm playing. People know the part I'm playing. Slam! Bam! Ow, a gazam! Wonderful, you pass by. Wyatt on the set. That's all, folks. A bow, just get out of here. I have enough to do. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Oh! He's something, isn't he? He is an American. 
again, and I have to tell picture. you, if there is any doubt in a terrorist's mind that this country isn't united, well, this house says it all. Mm -hmm. Never underestimate an angry decorator. I don't. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we've uh, we've made a few changes. Mm -hmm. Conniff finally got rid of that candy ass Dr. Frank. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Conniff. God. And we've got ourselves a good old fashioned self help hard ass. Please welcome Dr. Fred. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Good to be here. Great to have you. Know, I understand you are back from your no escape lockdown one on one couples weekend. That's right, Liz. And as usual, there was a great demand for my help. Mm. It all took place at the Farmer's Daughter Motel, where all the rooms have free in-room brewed coffee. All I ask is one weekend. Oh, Hundreds of people rode in wanting to be part of my seminar. But out of all those aspirants, I chose only a few. All right, Brian, let's go ahead and try this, okay? Issue resolved. The ones I picked to work with seem willing to confront their problems and deal honestly with their issues. Issue resolved. All right, let's fill in the hole. Let's fill in the hole, everybody. Fill it in. I know this because, unlike the others, their check's cleared. I stay that way for about 20 minutes. Wow, a lot of, lot of energy in that room. Mm. Uh, <laughs> looks like you had your hands full there. Oh, I say so. And I hope you, uh, you didn't scrimp on the advice because the accommodations, hmm. Don't worry, when it came to being harshly judged, they got four-star treatment. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> the first couple had a problem that I'm sure will be all too familiar to a lot of our viewers. With them, I uh, used a technique I developed called the ear-to-ear -ear empathy exchange. Oh. Hmm. All right, why don't you go ahead and get ear-to-ear? -ear? <laughs> now, what's the problem? My husband just doesn't treat me like a lady anymore. He's completely focused on himself. He doesn't open doors for me. He doesn't stand when I enter the room. So what have you got to say for yourself? Hey, buddy, this is a serious issue, and I think your wife deserves an answer. You just don't want to deal with this issue, now do you? Well, do you? I have Lou Gehrig's disease. I hope everyone at home got to hear that. This one wants communication. This one just wants to talk about baseball. Listen up to my joke. It's the bottom of the ninth. The bases are loaded, and if you don't get up off your ass and start treating your wife like she ought to be treated, your marriage is going to be sent to the showers. Do you understand me? Uh. Do you understand me? Uh. Uh. What the hell's wrong with him? Wow, that guy makes all men look bad. I would have dumped him years ago. <laughs> I found all excuses will get you is an ex-wife. Very mm -hmm. smart. Now, Dr. Fred didn't have a chance to talk to every screwed up, faultless couple that showed up for my weekend. Hmm. That's why I've come up with this special high-speed therapy lightning round. Oh. Mm -hmm. They lined them up, I picked them off. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get a move on, people. Let's step on the gas and haul some ass neck. I can't stop thinking of killing myself. I am looking at a dead person next. Someone with a little problem, please. My wife is a crack addict. Well, she's going to need money to support her habit. Be a man. Make her be a crack whore. Next. Come on. I'm looking around for two different people. I don't know which one to pick. Flip a coin, sweetheart. They're both using you. Next. My daughter is on drugs. I don't blame her. Five seconds with you. I could use a speedball. Someone else. Come on. I can't make my relationship last. None of them last. The best relationship I ever had lasted two minutes and was in a truck stop restroom. How about that? Let's go. My husband isn't sexually attracted to me anymore. He doesn't ever... Let me just stop you right there. You've heard this before. No, I'm done. Oh. 
Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Tough stuff. I... That is tough stuff. I am emotionally drained from watching that. There is just only so much, Dr. Fred, to go around. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you do it. You are mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Will you mm -hmm. sign my purse? No. Right answer again. Okay. <laughs> We're right back in a moment. Thank you. That is good stuff. Again, uh, Liz, you know, there is nothing like flying my Gulfstream 5 mm -hmm. uh, down to uh, St. Bart's to soak up a little sun. Uh, but there are other vacation spots that can be reached by commercial airlines and sometimes a bus. I've heard that. <laughs> we don't actually go there. We send our own half-naked globetrotter, Liz Naylor, who goes there for us. So let's get wild about Hayward, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Ryan and Liz, today I am at the, the Tony Beach Resort, where the elite meet and greet a fashionable enclave that has the reputation as the sexiest, most exclusive vacation hideaway in the world. So let's get wild about Hayward, Wisconsin. Wild. you can see the lush grounds and historic monuments that make up the Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame, a mecca for the world's sexiest anglers. It's all in a day's work for museum manager Ted DiZalo, who curates the wildest attraction here. Right behind us is our logo, our muskie. What was your first reaction to seeing that fish? Monstrous. This is uh, to us like uh, the fairy castle is the Disneyland and so forth. Wow, that thing's huge. <laughs> wild! My, my muskies. Muskies are wild. Well, yeah. Woo! Muskies. But not the wildest draw here in Hayward. Oxygen is the first women's cable network to gain exclusive access to the priceless outboard motor gallery. Come on. The thing that the most people look at or enjoy are the outboard motors. You can see that motor up there. That's, uh, that's one of the first ten that were built by Ole Evenrude. And when the sun sets on Lake Hayward, this town becomes the ultimate playground for the hottest, the richest, and the wildest globetrotters. architecture, intoxicating surf, hot cuisine, and wild nightlife, this resort is no longer a secret. See you next time. You know, uh, that looked like it was meant to be fun. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be. Uh, uh, can we get serious here for a minute? Uh, since America was attacked by terrorists, uh, certain elements have implied that somehow our system is at fault. So today, in our continuing series, O oh, to be an American, we want to remind people just how great America is. This week, American justice. Liz? America is just because America is fair. There's no European class system here. The beautiful, the talented, and the wealthy enjoying elite status in this great nation because they've earned it. Or were smart enough to have parents or grandparents or ex-spouses that earned it. 
Money is how nature keeps score. The deserving have it, the undeserving don't. <laughs> lots of money, lots of justice. No money, no justice. <laughs> you can't argue with math or with God's divine plan. The antelope eats the grass, the leopard eats the antelope, the rich buy the leopard Fendi jacket. <laughs> That's more than fair, it's destiny. You know, no one in this country is above the law. In America, everyone is entitled to the best legal representation they can afford. If you commit a crime and can't afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you. And if one is appointed for you, you're probably guilty. <laughs> but if I don't like a verdict, I can keep appealing until the other side runs out of money. It's ingenious. Plus, I like the fact that the poor and suspicious are often jailed for minor offenses before they can commit larger crimes. That's vision. From where I stand, America's legal system is every bit as good as our schools, our health care coverage, our race relations, and our air quality. The law, it protects me and everyone just like me. We'll be right back. time sadly but I want to thank Dr. Fred for stopping by. Oh yes he was terrific. He was great. Oh. Oh, good stuff for me. So good so good. And be sure to watch next week when we show you how to convert an Indian burial site into a beautiful herb garden. Hmm. You know it's better than a mall. Mm -hmm. So until then if you want to be somebody. Be somebody else.